Coach Ben here, BigBench.com, back on the bench for another Fix It Friday. And today I got Big Joe with me today to demo. Alright, so today's Fix It Friday. I want to go over how elbows in is a shitty cue. Now don't let me mislead you. For many, elbows in can be a good cue, put you in proper alignment on the bench press. But for about 90% of beginners, and I'm speaking about people new to lifting in general or don't have too much experience uh, with bench pressing, elbows in is a pretty bad cue. Because I'm going to show you why and show you what happens, what I see about 90% of the time. Alright, so Big Joe's going to unrack it. I'm going to tell him elbows in, elbows in, and then shit like that happens, right? Where he's going to keep his touch point where it is, which is a little high and his elbows are going to excessively tuck in or go underneath the bar. And that is not a good alignment to press from. Alright, so instead, so you can go ahead and bring that bar up. So instead I'm going to have him focus just on breaking the bar. So he's trying to actively snap that bar in half. It's going to help him activate the lats. And I'm going to have him uh, physically tell him touch a little lower on the chest because that's automatically going to bring his elbows into a better alignment. So go ahead and focus on breaking that bar. There you go. So he's focusing on breaking that bar, he's getting a little more lat tension, and then he's just touching a little bit lower on his chest. And you can see how he has a pretty good elbow alignment there. Alright, so that's a much better way to approach just saying tuck to elbows, tuck to elbows. When you say tuck to elbows, you're not really giving them anything that they can go off of on how to, how to get tight and, and how to do it properly. You're kind of just telling them where to position their elbows. So they're not actually getting tighter, they're just physically just forcing their elbows in into a poor position, not a good position to press from. And when we're telling them to break the bar and touch a little lower, now we're physically getting a little bit tighter with that cue. All right, so it's just a better way to approach it for, for beginner lifters. People that are um, you know, more advanced in the sport of powerlifting, bench pressing, they are going to have an easier time understanding what elbows in means because they know they have to have proper alignment, they know they have to be tight. Alright, so that's another way to approach the elbows in cue. That's why it's a shitty cue for about 90% of new people. Try that one instead, breaking the bar, bring your touch point down a little bit, and I think you'll see better results with your, with your athletes. Alright, Coach Ben here. Go to bigbench.com, sign up for the newsletter, shoot me an email if you have any questions. People are getting stronger, so can you, with our distance coaching program. I'll see you guys next time.